Give me your feet back. Amen. So, I want to invite our attention now to the New Testament, the Gospel according to Luke, chapter number 18. Today we began a series of messages around the theme of faith. I got there because last week while I was driving to family supper on Sunday, my son Joseph said to me the definition of torment. He said, hell is to meet in the afterlife the person you could have become in this life. What does that mean? That many of us don't live up to our full potential. And the gap between where we are and where we can be has to do with faith. If you can't believe it, you surely can't achieve it. If you can't see it, you can't become it. Too many of us are waiting to die to get to heaven and enjoy what we have. But when you be torment indeed to get on the other side and God shows you what all you could have become if only you had faith in God. I want to challenge us today and for the next six weeks to have faith in God. Faith is not just an intellectual notion or a doctrine of the church, but faith is the energy that fuels our life. Without faith, you can't please God. Without faith, you cannot be better. Without faith, you accept what is as what is. Without faith, a church can't reach its highest goals. Without faith, the people can never be different. And without faith, you can never realize your dreams. So this morning at the first service, we dealt with the text in the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, of Elijah and one of his servants. Elijah had to tell his servant, in essence, he had to have the eyes of faith. Although the servant saw on the hillside, they were surrounded by the armies of Syria. Elijah said to him, there's more with us than with them. And it was only after Elijah prayed that God opened his eyes that he was able to see that they work by themselves. Amen, somebody. That God is a very present devil in time of trouble. This service, I want to introduce you to a certain woman. I don't know her name, but we're going to hang it out in a minute, but Luke's Gospel, chapter 18. Jesus teaches a parable about faith. You shall have found this amen and stand to your feet to honor the reading of this portion of the Bible. Luke, chapter 18, starting in verse 1, reading from the New Revised Standard Version, you'll find these words. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not lose heart. He said in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused. But later, he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, my mind, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge said. And will not God grant justice 
to his chosen ones who cried to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? You may have a seat in the presence of God. We're going to hike this out today. We have playing the widow woman, Sister Willoughby the King. Don't play right there, don't play, don't, don't play short. Sure. And we have Brother Babal Reed as the unjust judge. Come on now.
God tell them folk what they can do as you leave. Nah, oh, she's a lady. She simply backs up, goes back to her house, walks past her neighbor's house and goes, baby, it's all right. Go back to her house, sits down, goes to bed early. Next morning, he done told her no one time, right? She gets up, washes her face, puts on her another outfit, goes down to catch the number two bus uptown. Parents, my neighbor said, you going downtown again? Baby, just pray. Comes on down, what's that? Come on, back to the judge. This time she is singing, Father, I need thee. And she comes on to the judge and stands right there. The judge still tells her, No. This time she's not crying, she's not falling apart, she's not going crazy, she's not falling on the floor, she's in the hills there. She just goes ahead and come on back down. Y'all don't get this one yet. Goes back home. Lady goes talking. How you go? Keep on praying. The next morning, y'all not going to help me. She still y'all would have gave up on you. But the next morning, she gets up. Goes back down to the number two bus stop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs>